This game, we got Lions and Patriots. Bailey Zappi taking on Jared Goff. I'm not going to, after what happened last week with the Patriots, I'm not going to doubt the Patriots. And most importantly, I'm not going to doubt Bill Belichick. I think the Patriots are going to win this game because Bill Belichick. That's why. Um, not to wave that's my awesome. pom-poms like a, like a Patriots fan. Um, but no, look at this guy. systematically, scheme-wise, I think the Patriots can contain the Lions. I mean, they might not have D. Swift still. They might not have Mamar on St. Brown. And they might not have DJ Chark again. <laughs> And the difference between Seattle and the Patriots is that Patriots have, I'm going to make you vomit for a minute, the best coach of all time. And I think that they can find a way to shut down this, this Lions team. So I like the Patriots to win. So I know what you're going to do. You're about to name all the receivers on the Patriots and how much they're bad. And I'm not going to say they're bad, but I'm also going to say the Lions have scored the most points in the league this year and the Pats can't keep up. You just can't. And they also faced a pretty bad defense. They faced a pretty bad defense, but it's forced. No, they put up the most points in the league this year, period. And I think you did that still and proved you could do it without your two best options. Amaran St. Brown's probably going to play this week. He's questionable. I think he's coming back. So I think the Lions win this game. I think it's going to be another. I think it's going to be more similar to like the Baltimore Patriots game, but I'm not going to trust our rookie quarterback who played in the fourth round over Jared Goff. So I'm going to go Lions in this one. They have to redeem themselves after last week. If you start one and four, you're just dead. And I think they'll come back and they'll pull themselves out of it. They just have to fix a few things on defense, like not leaving people wide open. Or just tackling somebody. I'm not. I'm going to. I'm just going to pick the Lions to outscore the Patriots in this game. So I'm going to go Lions. They've got. Over 30 points in all their games so far. Um, I think except for the Vikings one, but they still got 21. Something like that. So I'm going to go Lions over Patriots 35 to 28. Yeah, um, higher than that. I'm going to go Patriots win 41-38. Whoa. Yeah. (laughs) Have you seen how bad the Lions defense has been? Yeah, but they've gotten steamrolled. Their defense has been embarrassing. This is coming from a guy who loves the. I mean, they got some dudes on that team, but like they've been destroyed. There's Rashard Penny ran all over them. And the Patriots running game. That was pretty good. Yeah, it's weird because the Lions lost to the Seahawks. Like they let them get 50 points last year, which is also weird. And the Seahawks were also bad that time. So it's like, I don't know what it is with Seattle versus, but they also. Kind of contain the Vikings for a full game, except for the last play. That was the most important play in the game. And then they've given up the most points through the first four games in NFL history. history. Jeez. History. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't have any faith in the Lions defense. I have faith in their offense. I have faith that their offense can outscore them. So hey, that's why it's a high game. Hey, over under is 46 and a half. Yeah. Over. 